all right guys welcome back so today we're going to be talking about island biogeography and basically i want you to know the theory of island biogeography by looking at page 146 um this will be a short video just explaining quickly on what it is so in this one you're going to basically see the species diversity on islands just know that the major factors of island biogeography basically relate to uh, migration of a certain species and the extinction of certain species on an island. Um, there are a lot of projects. I want you to look at basically just read through this case study and um, just kind of follow along and think of this question. So suppose we have two national parks surrounded by development. So one is a large park and the other is a smaller which park is likely to have the highest species richness? What would that be dependent on? Um, also, you got to realize that islands are not just, you know, out on the sea. We also have islands on land. And we'll talk about that a lot on, well, during this week. Okay. Uh, now I want you to switch over to page 225. And you guys know how it goes with this old book. All right, so specifically on 225, um, we're going to look at basically the extinction prediction, and it's just this paragraph for the most part. Um, you can also read on, and basically it just uh, tells you in detail what the scientists were looking for. But again, um, this is talking about species area relationships. So what's the relationship for, the, for a species in a certain area, and then the island biogeography. Um, again, it pulls up uh, the case study on 146 and how the scientists actually use this model to look at the extinction rate of certain animals okay um, usually it can be due to human encroachment or some kind of uh, change in their local environment or their habitat okay so let's just a few more pages on 231 here is just going to be this case study that it says a disturbing me message from the birds. So here it's looking at South America, parts of Asia, uh, Sumatra, um, Brazil, and even Australia. And just how those uh, specific governments of the country wanted to bring in certain animals to control a, a pest. But in the process, they lowered the biodiversity of their country. So in this case, they brought in a lot of like bird-eating cats, mongooses, snakes, and rats. Some were unintentional, others were intentional. So some of the cats, it was to get rid of the high rat population in certain areas, uh, mongooses to control the snake population, and so on and so forth. By doing so, they basically threatened the world, the the bird population of these areas. So Brazil, being one of the most biodiverse countries in the world, um, saw a decline in their bird species. North America, so us, the same thing. Um, and this happens a lot. So this is one of the reasons why the introduction of invasive species to control another population isn't all that great. So you'll see a extreme decline in certain bird species and even an extinction, an extinction or endangerment of some of the species. All right, so for this uh, specific lesson, we are done. So it's bio, uh, island biogeography. I'll see you guys later.